All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory due to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and many blessings to your elect Akiyam across the four corners of this earth, kicking this word in sincerity and in truth, feeding the elect. I'm the brother Sha'ar from the Great Millstone Dallas camp, and I'm doing the in transit. All right, but I um, just wanted to go into a few scriptures. This is something that I've been meditating on the past few days. All right, and as you see the school, as the scriptures pulled up right here, I'm going to read it first, then I'm going to go into it because this is something that, um, you know, just myself personally have been harping on, been thinking about, you know, and how the spirit's been working lately. You know, not one person thinks about the same thing at the same time. You know, the spirit's been having things loop around. One brother will be talking about something. And then y'all end up going on YouTube and finding a lesson on the same thing that our brother's been talking about. And we're seeing those uh, spiritual those spiritual signs more and more. All right. But I'm going to read this here in Sirach, the 14th chapter in the second verse. And it reads, blessed is he whose conscience hath not condemned him. All right. So when you go into that, it says, blessed is he whose conscience hath not condemned him. All right. Because you have... Um, certain demons that have you harp on things that you've done in the past or have you harp on things that you've done at that moment where you might think that you were wrong for something like that when really it's not a big deal and it, it happens you know what i'm saying it happens but the further we get into this thing the further we get the deeper that we get into this thing of ours these demons are going to get stronger and we gotta we gotta learn more how to work on that and how not to dwell on things so much and how not to worry about things so much all right and again we're in the flesh so we're we're not we're, we're subject for demons demons to try to attack us like it's written in wisdom of solomon the creature is made subject to vanity all right so this flesh will have you harp harp on certain things that you've done in the past it'll have you overthink certain situations but we don't want to make that be the end all be all of our walk all right part of the victory well, the victory is overcoming the flesh and that's part of the flesh that's overcame you know not worried not not constantly meditating on things that you've done that might have been wrong or might have been offensive now of course it goes into a self-examination examining yourself it's very important but you don't want to overthink or over worry about a situation when you really didn't do nothing wrong you know what i'm saying because if you did do something wrong guess what a brother will tell you about it all right and then you'll have time to reflect on it but if you feel like you know you keep doing stuff wrong or you feel like the spirit of the lord is not dealing with you that's a demon that has to be rebuked you know i'm gonna continue it says and on this i'm sorry i'm gonna just read i'm gonna just read it from the beginning again it says blessed is he whose conscience hath not condemned him and who has not fallen from hope in the lord you know, and you see a lot of guys falling out right now. And that's because they've fallen, they, they've lost hope. All right. They feel like, okay, it's another year. I'm still in here. I'm back at this thing again. You know, when they get comfortable and family demons, certain vices that, that, that messed with you in the past will start springing back up. All right. You get mentally weak, you know, and then lo and behold, end up falling out. See Jake's with You know what I'm saying Just the First thing that they do They fall out And they get a lineup Whatever You know But that's because They they lose hope In Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah They lose that fire And it's important That we keep this fire man Because this fire That's burning inside of us Give me one sec so like, That fire that's burning Inside of us Is the Holy Spirit And that's what Inspires us To do these lessons To stay in the spirit To stay brotherly To stay charitable Alright To love one another all those things has to play in that. But you know, as soon as you start constantly meditating on those things that are irrelevant, really, lo and behold, you can end up falling out and turn into a bug out, you know? There was a conversation um, a, a few of us had had, and we pretty much was talking about how the stronger we get in the faith, because brothers are getting built up in the faith, and that's a beautiful thing. But also at the same time, these demons on the left hand side are getting upset satan is getting angry so don't be surprised you see this devil go, you know um satan go to the lord and ask for permission to torment you in further things that you haven't experienced yet 
or certain weaknesses that you've had multiply. Don't be surprised. We're in, a, we're in a time of elevation right now through the spirit. So with us being in a time of elevation, them, them demons on the left hand side are elevating as well. And they're elevating on how they can sift you in different ways. And a lot of it is getting into your mind and messing with your conscience. All right. I got one more scripture I'm going to go into. And it's in the book of uh, Philippians chapter 3. And I'm going to just read verse 13. Hold on one second. And it says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. All right. So what the Apostle Paul is pretty much telling us, don't worry about the things that are behind. Because if you constantly harp and meditate on the things that are behind, you don't got no way to look forward. Because you constantly thinking about the things that's behind you. Guess what, man? That stuff is in the past. It's behind you. Let it go. While you're still in the spirit, while you still have the spirit of how about Shimmy how shot dealing with you, keep moving forward. All right? Now, of course, granted, you know, certain things happen, and a brother might tell you something about yourself that was needed. And of course, that's something to examine yourself about because the scriptures talk about self-examination and that's important. But if you constantly meditate on things that you screwed up on in the, in the past and you're not trying to work on it, you're going to harp and you're, you're going to stay in those things in the past to the point where you're going to fall out and lose hope in the Lord. We got to keep on moving forward and keep our foot on the gas. That's something that we've constantly been saying lately, keeping our foot on the gas. All right. Then the next verse says, Press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So when you press forward to something, that means move forward within something. To press, to constantly meditate on, to fight, to keep moving forward no matter what obstacles are in front of you. Because Satan is trying to come up with different obstacles to get you wild up, to get you to lose hope in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? And if you do have those thoughts, pray. Apostle Hard did a lesson. And Apostle Kabar did a lesson on, 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 on fasting. All right. So if you feel like you're getting weak in the spirit, like they said, if you feel like you're getting weaker, fast. And that's not something that you got to just promote among everybody. You keep that to yourself. It's between you and the Heavenly Father. But fast, man. If you feel that's coming at you, because the first thing that goes is going to be your mind. That's going to be the first thing that's going to try to lead you away from this truth. All right. Of course, we know the flesh, the lust. But you meditate on things. You think about the idea of doing something before the action takes place. All right. And your conscience will try to do that because those demons will sound just like you in your head and you'll think it's yourself. And that's something that has to be rebuked. All right. But I'm going to end it off on that. Lord, whether it was edifying, I'm going to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations and many blessings to you, like Akiam, across the four winds of this earth, kicking this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.